Hi everyone, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you here on my YouTube channel. Today I am inviting you to complete a vinyasa core flow based on traditional yoga asanas and their variations designed to strengthen your abdominal muscles. This practice can be suitable for all levels. Focus on your breathing, modify if necessary, listen to your body and make this practice work for you. If you are ready, let us begin laying down on the back straight away with a little core activation. Bring your hands to the opposite shoulders and with the next exhale, crunch your chest and shoulders up. We'll hold it here for about 50 seconds. Your lower back and your feet remain on the floor. Continue breathing. Try to continuously keep lifting through the chest a little bit higher up and forward, building a little bit more strength through your abdominal muscles, just a little bit longer here. Exhale, release. Take your hips up into the bridge pose. Your intention is not to go into the back bend, but continue contracting through your abdominal muscles. So pulling the navel in, tucking the tailbone and activating through the back side of your body, through your glutes and through your hamstrings. You should be feeling the length through the lower back and engagement through the core. We'll be holding it here for a total of one minute. Continue focusing on your breathing. And release. Let's come up into the low boat variation one more time, 30 more seconds. This time try to lift through the upper chest and shoulders a little bit higher, pressing the lower back down onto the mat. Great effort, rock yourself up to seated, bring your legs into the diamond shape, soles of the feet together, clasp your hands onto the shins, on the exhale round your back, bring the chin towards the chest, on the inhale shift forward and lift through the chest up. We'll go for a few more rounds of cat and cow in this position. Exhale as you round your back deeper, pull the hands onto the shins. Inhale, lift through the heart up. One last time. Beautiful. Extend your left leg forward, bend your right knee, coming for the seated twist, right hand behind your back, inhale, reach through the left arm up, exhale, twist over to the right, continue sitting tall, lengthen through the spine, and with every breath, try to go a little bit deeper into the twist as you press the elbow on the outside of the right knee. Slowly come out and let's change the sides. Inhale, reach through the right arm up. 
Exhale, twist over to the left as you bring your right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Keep looking for the length through the back. Come out and make your way back into the downward facing dog. You can choose to keep your knees softly bent, finding the length through your back, pressing the hands into the floor and shifting through the hips back and down. We'll go through a vinyasa, inhale, shift forward, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, lift up, cobra, exhale, into the downward facing dog. Now shift back forward into the plank, bend the knees into the hovering tabletop, touch your right hand to the left shoulder, bring it down, touch your left hand to the right shoulder, bring it down, and move back into downward facing dog. We'll do this four more times. Let's shift forward plank, bend the knees, they're not touching the floor, right hand left shoulder, left hand right shoulder, and into the downward facing dog. Continue breathing. Continue engaging into your core. As you go through shoulder taps and hovering tabletop, try not to rock your hips too much. Into the plank. Bend the knees, round into your back slightly. Keep pushing the floor away as you tap in your hands to the opposite shoulder into the plank, bend the knees, strong legs, these are really hard, wonderful, one last time here, and let's hold hovering tabletop here for a little bit longer, Suck the teal bones, squeeze the glutes, lift through the chest up, keep pressing the floor away. Couple more seconds here. Wonderful, well done. Bring your knees towards the floor. We'll go for thread the needle, so knees slightly wider apart. Inhale, reach through the left arm up. Exhale, twist over to the right. Slow down your breathing. You might feel a better stretch through your back if you keep your hips squared, so don't allow your left hip to completely drop down. Inhale, come back up, left arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Let's change the sides. Inhale, reach through the right arm up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Now slightly pull through the right hip back and up so that it comes in line with the left hip. This creates a much more beautiful stretch for my back. Whenever you're ready, slowly come up. And come up into the downward facing dog. With the next inhale, reach through the right leg up. Exhale, plank right knee towards right elbow. Inhale up. Three more times. Exhale, pull the right knee as close to the elbow as you can. Follow your breathing. Exhale into the plank. 
one last time. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, fall in triangle. Thread the right leg to the left. Leap through the left arm up. You can hold it here or follow along with me. Touch the left hand to the floor. Lift the right leg up as high as possible. Four more times. Left fingers to floor. Right leg up for two. Left fingers down. Right leg up for three. Two more sets. Four. One last time. Left hand down. Right leg up. Wonderful. Transition back up into one legged downward facing dog. And exhale, step the right leg through. Inhale, come up high crescent lunge. Exhale, left hand to floor. Inhale, right arm up into the twisted lunge. From here, try stepping back into the side plank on the left side. We'll hold it here for approximately 30 seconds. Try not to sink with your hips down. Activate into the left side of your body and push yourself away from the floor. Try not to rely only on your left arm, but feel that it's a full body engagement. Well done. Transition into the plank and go through your vinyasa. Let's repeat the sequence on the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, plank as you bring the left knee towards your left elbow. Four more times with your breath. Two. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to elbow for three. One last time here. Reach through the left leg up. And on the exhale, come into the fallen triangle. Thread the left leg to the right. Right arm comes up. Touch the right fingers to the floor. Lift the left leg up. Four more times. And here we go for two. This requires a lot of strength. You can always modify, but just hold in fallen triangle. Four, one last time. And lift the left leg up for five. Wonderful. Transition into one legged downward facing dog. And exhale, step the left leg through. Inhale, come up into the high crescent lunge. Find the strength and balance by pressing through the feet into the floor. Exhale, twisted lunge. Left arm up, chest wide open. Try not to use your hands as you step back into the side plank on the right side. And again, look for a full Body muscular engagement. Squeeze the inner thighs, engage the glutes, work into your obliques. Instead of sinking down, try to push yourself away from the floor. You're doing great. Beautiful effort today. Transition into the plank. And as you follow your breathing, go through your vinyasa, chaturanga, cobra or upward facing dog. And we'll come together in the downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through for warrior two on the right side. Reach through your arms up. Strongly engage into your core. We'll be shifting into the extended side angle. 
and back up into warrior two. Your arms remain parallel to one another. Only extend as far as you can so that your chest remains open, your back remains long. One last time. Beautiful. Let's come into the extended side angle by bringing the right hand to the floor, lifting through the chest up. And now bring the right knee down into the modified side plank on the right side. Engage the core as you softly lift up and extend to the back of the mat. And now bring your right hand back and down. A few more dynamic side bends in the modified side plank. You can do it really slow, trying to lift your upper body only with the strength of your core. Transitioning smoothly. From here, a difficult transition back into warrior two. So try to step the right foot back forward. And inhale, come up to standing with your right leg straight. We'll be doing dynamic reaches into the triangle pose. Left arm comes up over the head. Right arm reaches back and underneath and back to standing a few more times. Again, really focusing on transitioning with the strength of your core. The legs are active as well. One last time. Well done. Shift to the back of your mat, coming into warrior two on the left side. Reach both of your arms up towards the ceiling. And now extend over to the left. Come back up four more times. Keep your arms active, parallel to one another. The sides of your body are long, the chest is lifting up. One last time. Bring your left hand towards the floor or towards the block, extended side ankle. Slowly bring the left knee down, modified side plank. Dynamic side bends here as we slowly reach and extend to the front of the mat. And then lowering back and down with your left hand towards the floor. A few more times, bring your attention into the center of your body. Your strong, active abdominal muscles. Notice how you have to activate them to be able to come up smoothly. One last time here. Wonderful. Your hand is either on the floor or on the block. Try to lift the left knee up and off the floor and step the left foot forward into, wa into warrior two. Come up. Triangle stance dynamic reaches, your right arm will come up and over the head, left arm hugs underneath your body. A few more times, notice that you're lengthening through the right side and trying to lift through the chest up. Your feet are strongly rooting into the floor. Great work. Come into the goddess squat, facing to the side of the mat. Your knees are opening out, and now we'll be doing a little bit of a kickboxing or punching moves. You can combine it with your breathing. So every time you punch your hand forward, try to do a strong exhale through the nose. So it will sound something like Really focusing on exhaling, activating, burning into the core, burning into the legs as well as we are maintaining this deep squat. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Lift up to standing. Feet parallel as you fold into the wide-legged standing forward fold. 
This is a beautiful opportunity to slow down the breathing, to enjoy the stretch through the entire back side of your body. If you find this stretch challenging, try to focus on the length that you're creating through the back. If necessary, maintain a half lift position. So instead of rounding your back and reaching down, try to lengthen forward or wherever you feel the best stretch through the back of your legs. Lift halfway up. Let's go for an open twist. Reach through the right arm up, open through the chest to the side. Change sides, lift through the other arm up and push through the hips back and up away from your head. Wonderful. Walk your hands forward, come into the plank. We'll go through one last vinyasa. And exhale into the downward facing dog. This is our last downward facing dog for this practice. Try to notice all the difference that you created in your body, all the strength all the length that you can achieve in this pose. Exhale, bring your knees down. Let's come up for the camel pose, a little stretch through the entire front side of the body. So place your hands onto the hips, fingers pointing up if possible, push the hips forward. If available, you can reach your hands towards the heels. Keep engaging into the glutes and lifting through the chest up. Stay here for as long as it feels good for your back. And then slowly come up, sit your hips towards the heels, rest your hands on the thighs. Take a few moments here to connect to your breathing, to notice how you feel. And then whenever you are ready, fold forward into the child's pose. This will be the end of our practice today, so take a few moments here, allow yourself to fully relax, make sure there is no tension remaining in your body right now, appreciate the moment, appreciate all the warmth that you created through your body, all the energy. Appreciate how much stronger you became. Your motivation, your discipline are to be admired. Whenever you are ready, come back up to seated position. If you prefer, stay in the child's pose longer. Inhale. Exhale as I bring my hands to the heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Well done. Great effort. Amazing work. I hope you feel fantastic. If you enjoyed this practice, please Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, if you still have some time left, choose any other strength or flexibility practice from my channel. I cannot wait to see you on the mat again. Much love and take care of yourself.